what is going on guys so on my common mistakes video i got a few questions on how to find the mean and standard deviation of your data set that you need uh, to do the normalization part so i thought i could just make a quick video and uh, show you how to do it So what we're going to do is we're going to import torch. Um, we're also going to import torch vision dot, uh, dot data sets as data sets. And then uh, torch vision dot transforms as transforms from torch utils dot data import data loader. All right. And then we're just going to first of all load the data. So we're just going to do train data set is data sets dot cipher 10. And then we'll just do root is a uh, data set. And then we'll do train equals true transform equals transforms to tensor. And then download equals true. All right. So this is just for loading the data set. And then we're just going to create a data loader. And do data loader of data set equals train data set and we're just going to set the batch size to i don't know 64. so i'm assuming here that the data set is simply too large to be loaded into ram instantly so this is the general way of doing it of uh splitting it into a loader and then we're just going to go through uh, piece by piece every batch of the, of the data set so let's see what is what are we going to do next we're going to do uh, shuffle guess it's not really needed and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a function so we're going to get uh, let's call it get mean standard deviation and we're going to send in um, a loader and then uh, so what we're going to use is that if you're not familiar with this we're going to use the following formula that the variance of a I guess random variable is the expected value of the variable squared um, minus the expected of the variable and then that squared all right and then we would just to get the standard deviation we would just do the square root of the variance um, so i'm just gonna show you what this looks like and uh, hopefully it's not too confusing so we're first going to get channels sum and we're going to do channels squared sum right that's for this part right here and then we're going to do number of batches where they are all going to be zero initially. So the way I'm doing this here is that you can send in a loader with any number of channels and it's still going to get the mean and standard deviation. So if you send in MNIST or Cypher 10, where MNIST has one channel and Cypher 10 has three, this is still going to work. So we can do for data and then we don't need a target in, in I guess, just loader. We can do channels sum. We can do plus equals torch dot mean of data. And then we can specify the dimensions. So the first is going to be the number of examples in our batch. So we want to do the dimension for that. And then the the second dimension or dimension one, then uh, that one is going to be the uh, the channel. So we don't want to do the the mean across that dimension. We're going to do it for the height and the width as well. And that's it for that one. And we're going to do the same thing for the channels squared, uh, squared, change that, squared, and then sum, and plus equals torch dot mean of data, uh, just squared. And then the dimension will also be zero, uh, two, and three. And we also got to add the number of batches plus equals one. And so in the end here, what we're going to do is we're going to mean is simply the channels uh, sum divided by the number of batches. And then the standard deviation will follow that formula that we uh, wrote up here. So the standard deviation will be, let's see, channels squared sum divided by the number of batches and then minus the mean. And we're going to do the mean squared, right? This right here is the mean. And so we got to square that. And then we actually got to take this entire thing and take the uh, square root. And then we want to return the mean and standard deviation. 
So if we now do that and we uh, do mean standard deviation equals get mean standard deviation of train loader, and then we print the mean and we print the standard deviation, and we get this right here, which is the um, the mean and the standard deviation for this data set. And obviously we can do this and also do this for something like MNIST, like that. And uh, we can just run it the same way. And then we get the mean and standard deviation for the MNIST data set. And uh, so a very common way of uh, doing a mistake here is that you you can't actually sum the standard deviations because uh, it's not a linear operation. So you need to actually do it in, in, uh, in a way similar to this. So yeah, hopefully this video was useful. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching the video and uh, hope to see you in the next one.